Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning into Migration Matters 2021. It's Migration Matters 2021. Welcome everybody and thanks so much for joining us right now. Oh, it's been a crazy two years. It's been a crazy, crazy two years, but we are so happy as a festival to be able to be here with you right now and to be able to present to you the uh, six, number six festival of migration matters in 2021 thank you so much for tuning in chiwe how you doing i'm doing okay john i'm really doing okay like you said rightly so we reached about 99 countries outside of europe just last year so this is great and obviously we did that because of the challenges of covid and we had to readapt the festival we went online for the very first time last year but this year we've come back with both with a double treat we've got a, an online festival as well as an in-person festival Ooh, but, um, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> we'll be talking about that a bit later won't we yeah definitely Definitely. I mean, uh, the challenges of COVID has been real, but to be able to figure that out, we, like Chiwe said, we could not reach 99 countries. Uh, we would not have gone online. Uh, I'm getting a positive out of COVID here, people. We, you know, we, we created something that's uh, has seen us as a festival from Sheffield reach around the world in a space of 10 days. So amazing, amazing. Yeah. We had 46 events last year as well, um, which was incredible. And just want to say thank you for everybody who supported us, who came to celebrate with us during that week. Um, but this year, it's going to be all incredible, amazing. Uh, just I can't, we can't wait to share with you some of uh, the events that are going to be coming up. Absolutely. And also in that same vein, would like to acknowledge all the losses that we have suffered. Everybody has suffered during the COVID pandemic. Um, that we, we, we hope that this festival is going to be a beacon of hope for you in some way or some comfort. In that same vein, we're also celebrating the life of Gina Clayton, uh, one of the pioneers in Sheffield of the refugee community. She was co-founder of South Yorkshire Refugee Law and Justice, and she passed on quite recently. So just acknowledging that and sending our love to her family and friends and all the people that she worked with. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Thank you so much, Chiwe. Um, I think it, it, Sheffield is so lucky to have uh, people like Gina who started such an incredible charity. And yes, our hearts are with you, uh, the family. And uh, yeah, also Chiwe, today happens to also be uh, the fourth anniversary of uh, mm -hmm. Grand Pearl, uh Tower. And you know what, as a festival, Again, we stand, we stand with um, the, the, that unfortunate event and with the, fa the family members of, uh, of, 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 of the people that unfortunately due to Grenfell faced those circumstances and justice is, is not yet served. So there's a lot of work to be done um, from our side and yeah, from the community, but we stand with you, yeah. Uh, we are we here. Do. Yeah, no, we absolutely do. And the trustees of Migration Matters Festival wanted to extend that solidarity with Grenfell. But in our usual fashion, we have maintained a tradition. It's Refugee Week in the United Kingdom. So we stand in solidarity with all organizations that we've partnered with on Refugee Week throughout the years uh, in, in, in actually bringing back this festival. That's why we thought we would still do an online version of this festival. And we're excited to be launching it today. So welcome again, everybody. Yes, <laughs> yes, amazing. Chiwe, I love this. I love this. This is, uh, honestly, yeah, yeah. this time of year is one of my favorite uh, yeah. times of year. I just look forward to uh, opening Migration Matters because it's, it's such an incredible festival, what we bring to the city, to the people. It's just yeah. incredible. And it's just great. Even if uh, the, hard, the hard stuff that we've mentioned that have gone on, mm -hmm. we are still able to celebrate. And we hope that you, you join us and you come with us on this wonderful journey. Yep, absolutely join us. Like we said, we've got a two-part festival this year. We've got an online one that starts today for Refugee Week, and we're going to have an in-person one. So Sheffield, thanks for your patience last year. We couldn't do it, but we are back with an in-person one as well. But nobody can tell the story better than the director of Migration Matters Festival, Mr. Sam Holland. Come on board, Sam. Hey. Oh, you too. 
Hey. Yeah, you just you just light light up our screens and our stages. Um, amazing job again, brilliant hosts. Thank you. <laughs> good try. <laughs> How you doing, Sam? Yep, I'm good. I'm excited. Um, you know, maybe a little bit bit sort of tired from the sort of the prep. Um, you know, it's been obviously it's been a as you as you mentioned, it's been a kind of a, a difficult run up. You know, to this time, and obviously there are still a lot of things that are uncertain, but. Um, what is certain is that Refugee Week is happening and it's being celebrated across the country and, you know, we're doing it here in Sheffield and, and online and across the globe as well. So there's plenty to be excited about, even in these quite trying times. Wonderful. And in, uh, in terms of this year, uh, we've got this thing where we are doing a festival online and a festival uh, in person. How is the, how, how's the prep for that been? Has it been div what, what, what have been some challenges? Oh, it's it's been exhaustive, hasn't it? It's been it's been a no, but it's been been very rewarding and very worth. It. And and I think this the thing is that you know in these times we need something to hold on to. We need some hope, and we need to provide platforms uh, to the people who've not been given that opportunity to speak during this time. And um, you know, and, and within the last year, there's not just been um, issues around the pandemic, as we know. There's been there, there is a racial justice pandemic happening as well and that is something that is incredibly important for us as a festival to acknowledge and for us to commit ourselves to those messages those you know anti-racist work within this organization and so that is what we're trying to do and and you know one of the ways we're doing that is is via um, providing these platforms and opportunities um, within the within the program and as you said we've we have split up our festival this year um, partly based on the, uh, the, the roadmap that um, has been laid out for us. Of course, as we know that there is still announcements yet to happen um, with regards to that. But we, we wanted to try and do an in-person festival this year because there were that, I think there's something about this festival, which is all about bringing communities together, that it does it so well. And we wanted to be able to do that, albeit with us being as cautious, with us being safe, that's the priority. Um, and so, you know, we, we've, we've got a whole program of events, which we will be announcing um, the tickets of on Wednesday. Um, again, as I said, there, there may be, there may well be changes to that. So we're just going to be reviewing and, and making sure that um, what we're doing is in the public's best interest. Um, but we have, we have our sort of online program um, celebrating Refugee Week, which we felt, um, and I say we, I, I want to talk about the trustees who have just been integral to this whole process. Absolutely. And that includes obviously you too. Um, and the amazing job that you've all done, the group of trustees have done to kind of to, to help pr bring this kind of program together and make some of the key decisions behind the scenes. Um, and so the, the decision was made to, to, that we still wanted to sort of celebrate something during Refugee Week, that this is a, an, a really important week where we launched the festival back when in 2016. And um, and it's it's important to kind of to, to do this week justice. So we, we wanted to keep things online um, for a lot of people. It still means like we can we can connect with people across different countries. Examples of that were the events that we've just had with Comma Press and Dina Nayeri um, tuning in from uh, from France when we, I believe, I think Aline Kamara as well will be delivering his workshop from Sierra Leone. So we've we've got people, you know, that, that international community is sort of alive via the online program. So in many ways, there's something so exciting about that about still being able to do things virtually, um, which I think we can, you know, we can still we can still do, and it's lovely to do that for Refugee Week. Amazing. Online, we can belong anywhere at any time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. I think it's, 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 it's so exciting that we've managed to get that sort of program packaged together. And we're really excited that it's not just some Holland with us on this call. We've got a whole lot of people from the team that's actually bringing this festival to you this time. So I'm going to pass you back to John so he can actually start speaking to some of those people. Thank you so much, Chiwe. Thank you so much. Sam, just before you shoot, when did you say tickets are going online again? So we will have a sort of first release um, on Wednesday. Not on all Wednesday. of our events will be will be announced then, but um, yeah, you can you can book via tickets for good, and but also by going on our website where there will be links. Um, so yeah, look out then. Wednesday, people, tickets are going on sale on Wednesday. Be six there. June. <laughs> yeah, six of <laughs> yeah. Wow, wonderful, wonderful, great. So, uh, Chiwe, yeah, we have some. Um, I mean, for us to be able to bring this festival to you, we need an incredible team behind it. They have been working so hard, like Sam said, for the last few months to uh, bring us to this moment right here. 
and I would like to invite, uh, we would like to invite some of the team to come and just have a quick word and just, just a quick chat with us. Yeah. So the first person I'm going to bring up is, she's new. Uh, this is her first time working with Migration Matters and I would just, she's amazing. And she is being our marketing and communications manager. Please, Pippa, how are you? Hello, hello, thank hey. you very much. Hello, I'm very good. Lovely to chat to you both. Hello, everyone. Um, yeah, it's great hello. to be here. Yeah, it's good. It's good to have you. Good to have you. You so you're new. Uh, this is this is your first time as a part of the team of Migration Matters. So, uh, how's that been for you? And uh, what are you looking forward to? Oh, it's been so good, actually. Um, and it is my first time on the team um, for Migration Matters, but I have worked with the festival before. Um, as a volunteer back in 2019, um, which was one of the things that made me so keen to like to work with you guys um, and to get involved because back in 2019, which feels like a really, really long time ago now, I had just the best time and the atmosphere um, and the kind of celebration and the thoughtfulness that went into that festival um, was so inspiring. And I thought the opportunity to work with Migration Matters, um, you know, as part of the team was an opportunity I could not miss. Um, and it has lived up to expectations so far. It's been really, really busy. Um, but really, really lovely um, to work with so many people, so many people who are so passionate about kind of everything that Migration Matters stands for um, and people who are just very energetic and very kind of involved in Sheffield's, you know, really lively community of arts and culture. And, you know, this is something that I'm really, really keen to to sort of pursue and push forward and show people everything that Sheffield has to offer. And I think that Migration Matters is one of those, you know, real beacons um, of what Sheffield is is all about so I'm just so proud to be here really um and yeah, a little bit you, you know it's, so much it's, for being here. thank you John thank you um and yeah I think I'm so excited actually about um the online program I, th I thought you know maybe people wouldn't get as excited about the online program because the in-person festival is what people in Sheffield are used to but actually the online program is absolutely packed with really really exciting events and I think that I love the opportunity that we've got to have exhibitions and installations that last the whole week I think this is this is something I really want to to kind of get across to people and make people really excited about um, because I think it's so cool that you can kind of pop in anytime and experience these on your own terms and kind of think through them and enjoy them there's podcasts installations there's a walking kind of exhibition audio experience um, from Phosphorus Theatre which I'm really excited to launch this evening um, and alongside that, we've got some really fantastic shows, music. I think music is one of the things that makes Migration Matters kind of what it is. So Music Action International are back with a couple of events. Um, so I'm very, very much looking forward to those. Um, so, yeah, it's hard to say, really. And the cooking demonstrations, I think that's a great kind of addition. And food is a big part of Migration Matters as well, I remember, from oh, yeah. 2019. So, you know, you know, trying to enjoy that wherever we are in the world um, is something that I'm really looking forward to. So yeah, so much to get excited about. <laughs> yeah. and, and you've been you've been working with a social media team as well. So what platforms do we have for social media? Yeah, I've been working with um, Smart and Shahed on their fantastic social media. Um, and we are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn at Mi'kmaq Fest. Um, do the little plug there. Um, on Facebook, <laughs> we're my find us at Migration Masters Festival, where we've got all of the Facebook events lined up for you um, for this week. So you can click uh, you can click join and get all of the updates from those events and make sure that you're always here ready to go get all the notifications um, and then use the hashtags hashtag Mi'kmaq first hashtag Mi'kmaq 21 um, and tag us in all of your pictures when you post them on Instagram Twitter show us that you're enjoying the festival um, and we will reshare them for you um, so yeah join in have fun Exciting, so exciting. Thanks so much, uh, Pippa. I'm really you. excited to have you on the team this year. And Thank that you. dovetails really well into our wizard, the wizard behind everything that you see. Uh, Tom, Tom, our production manager. Tom Robbins, can you come on screen, please? Hello, how are you? Oh. Hello, Tom. Uh, we're back. <laughs> No, it's great to great to be back for another year and uh, another year of online, which gives us all of these opportunities to to bring artists in and to to get out to more audiences. And then, as you say, uh, an in-person week as well. So very exciting things to come over the next month. So how are people accessing the wizardry that you've been creating for us? Sorry, can you repeat that, please? 
I'm sorry, how will people access all this wizardry you've created for us online? Perfect, yeah. So, so the website is really our stage for, for the online week. So migrationmatersfestival.co.uk, head over there and all of the events to be able to either sign up uh, or to just watch the events are happening there. But you can also catch them on Facebook as well. A lot of the events such as this one are being streamed on Facebook Live as well. Lovely, amazing. Thank you so much, Tom. And um, did you say there's also Vimeo as well that we can people can go to? Or is it just the festival pay website and that's yeah, it? Yeah, the, the web website is the best place to go. And yeah, you can book on and watch everything from there. Amazing stuff. Lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for continuing to uh, helping us as a festival. And yeah, you're a legend behind that computer. Thank you so much. No worries. See you later. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. See you soon. And and the next person is somebody who was with us last year and has joined us this year as well. How? Hello. Hi. Hello, how? Hey. How, are how are you too? How are you, John? How are you for everyone who is watching this right now? I'm how. <laughs> good, so good. good. <laughs> so how? Uh, we you came on board last year and then you're back this year as well. What is um what did you do last year and what are you doing this year? Yeah, well, I mean, actually, I have such a long term relationship with Migration Matters Festival, either, you know, I mean, most of the time we just bring me uh, bring my actual work to the festival. And then since last year, uh, our kind of like, you know, more level up this kind of long term relationship. Though that's why I start to get involved as the title of uh, guest curator, which means I have a small corner to <laughs> um, to program the things I want to uh shows and what my perception in terms of migration method and also is a kind of really a a fresh scope for a festival um i hope you get that sense since last year <laughs> but yeah that's really what i do uh, thank you so much and then in in terms of uh in terms of uh this year if um uh for you uh you know mm. even the program that you did last year which was amazing it was incredible the stuff that you brought for us last year in terms of this year, I just want you, I mean, it's very hard to be biased because the program is so rich. <laughs> so rich. Just, just, pick, just pick three things. Yeah, okay. So to start with, I'm going to say all of the things happened in festival was great. <laughs> and then, I mean, obviously, because I am involved with some particular event, like, like either online uh, program or our in-person program later in July, and so I was facilitating one of a, um, a talk or workshop, an online program, uh, which relate to also about food. Um, so that's something feel free to uh, join um, from this week. And uh, yeah, as lots of things happen around, I mean, we have shows, we have screaming, we have uh, installations. And uh, yeah, there's a more thing there. There's a lot of, a lot of fun. And um, uh before I finish this this thing, can I just say um, because I almost come to check in like almost every year. It's almost kind of annual ritual for me, just like you know greeting everyone as a family. So I hope that's also for you as well as a family. And then you know for me, not just everyone on board, also you know whoever watched that or as an audience, how are you doing? And I hope you have a really good year. And then uh, I'm really excited to be with you this year. Um, yeah, I'd like to, um, for me to say it about it, really. How um, incredible is your energy? He's always a darling, isn't he? <laughs> like, how, how? <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Hal. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. And also, just to say, um, just as a reminder, Migration Matters Festival is a platform to celebrate arts from communities that are usually underrepresented or misrepresented on the stage. So this space actually does belong to people from minoritized backgrounds, and we're really excited that we've we, we've had some learnings from last year's festival, and we've realized that we needed to make it more accessible to people who would ordinarily not be able to access a festival that's online. So I'll just bring in my, my new colleague, Christina, just to tell us how we've managed to do that and what people can expect in terms of getting involved this year. Hi, I am Christina, and this year I've been supporting the audience development team by reaching out organizations who might be interested in delivering data packs uh, to some of their clients and in that sense to overcome uh, digital exclusion. Um, so um, this is what 
uh, uh, Chiyue is referring to, isn't it? Absolutely, it is, because we've worked together on this, but you've really taken a lead on that. And so what so it's it's device it's data devices that we're offering to community organization and, and individuals, especially from the communities that we work with. And the issues that we're highlighting with Migration Matters Festival are around refugees. That's the main cause that we we, we actually champion um, at this festival. And so we are saying to people, if you have anyone in your community that's needing to access the festival, because this festival does belong to minoritized communities, please get in touch. We've got a few divide data devices that we'll be able to give you. Just email us on um, info at migrationmattersfestival.co.uk. And thanks a lot for your work on this, Christina. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Christina. Thank you, amazing work. And thank you, Chiwe, too, for, uh, yeah, incredible work that you've been doing. And uh, yeah, talking of thank yous also, I mean, you've just heard from a, a few of the team members, but there's an incredible, incredible team who are working day and night to make sure this festival happens. And I would like, just like to extend them our thank you uh, for, uh, as a festival and from the board members. Yes, yeah, thank you for your continued work and thank you for doing what you do to bring this incredible festival to people. And the other people to thank are also the volunteers who, who without, we would just not be able to uh, put this festival together. So thank you so much, all the volunteers. And um, as we just seen um, with Pippa there, she was a volunteer and now she's, uh, she's working on the festival, which is an incredible journey. So yeah, amazing, incredible. Yeah, absolutely. John, can I just ask that everyone who is able to on the call can, can, can have their, their, their videos shown. Uh, Tom, if we can get that done, please, so people can actually see some of the stuff that we've been working with this year. Show your faces, people. Show your faces. We want That's to see great. you. <laughs> And a wave to everybody. So thank you again, just to repeat from the Board of Trustees for your, all your amazing work. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, as well as the incredible team and the volunteers who allowed the festival to happen, there's also our funders who, uh, we, for this year, we have some incredible um, companies that have come on board and supported us. First of all, I just want to give big, big, massive thank you to the Arts Council England who have supported us from day one. And thank you so much for your incredible and yeah, support to allow this festival to happen. And next in line, would like to thank the University of Sheffield who has been a partner with us for quite a few years now. So thank you very much University of Sheffield for sponsoring the Migration Matters Festival. And thank you to the uh, National Lottery Community Fund. And also Evan Cornish Foundation. Yes. And oh, Theatre Delhi. Theatre Delhi. Home. Oh. <laughs> home. Our home. Our, uh, without, the, without the existence of uh, Theatre Delhi, honestly, it's very hard to say if this festival would even exist. We are so indebted to you and uh, yeah, for everything that you've done for us. Always be our home. We, yeah, we'll come to you and just thank you so much. Thank you. We can't wait for the live events so that we can come and destroy your building. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and I would I'm really love to extend our warmest gratitude to all the community groups, all the organizations, the charities around Sheffield and beyond Sheffield that we have partnered with over the years. So thank you very much. You're too many to mention. Thank you for making this festival possible for us this year. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, Chiwe, I mean, 2021 is here. 2021 is here. <laughs> yeah, it's here. here. Migration Matters 2021. Uh, incredible. Um, now, uh, Sam mentioned that um, tickets for the uh, in-person festival are going on sale on Wednesday. Please grab a ticket to any of the events. Um, this, you go on social media, go on our websites. There's a so many ways in which you can grab those tickets, just grab them. And uh, the, just to remind you, the in-person festival is going to be taking place from the 9th to the 17th of July. It's going to be incredible. But before we get to that one, Chiwe, mm -hmm. there's another one. 
Yep, there's another one. Yeah, so before we get to the 9th to 17th July festival, which will be in person for you, our Sheffield people, and anybody who wants to come along, we've got this program that has started today. I don't know whether you've been able to see the, the, the first two events that we held, we had uh, held earlier. So please just join us. The full program is at migrationmattersfestival.co.uk and uh, you can go on all our social media platforms if you can find us. There'll be links to various events. So please be vigilant and active in sourcing these and circulating and sharing. And before I actually go into the last bit of saying anything, can I just say, John, I missed you. Thank you so much for being my ever, ever, ever best co-host ever. <laughs> You're the one. You're the one. You're, yeah. It's incredible. I just love this. I love being back here. I love, yeah, yeah it's uh, it's just Migration Matters brings so much joy and to be hosting it with you, Chile, of course. Lovely. And what are you looking forward to the most this year? Oh, How no. Many I can't answer that <laughs> question. There's so many things. I was looking and I was just like, where do I start? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, the comedy thing that Tay, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm very much, um, uh, Tales of Whatever are doing. I'm very much looking forward to that. And then my sister, Sile Sibanda is, uh, I was just so, so happy to see her name on, uh, on our poster. I was like, yes, this is incredible. So I'm, I'm looking forward to what uh, these people in Sheffield are going to bring to the festival. Lovely. Uh, I'm looking forward to that. Thank yeah. you. Before I speak about the last event, I just thought I'd bring Sam Holland back on just to talk a little bit about the possible angle for charities this year. Sam Holland, are you there? I'm here. Thank you. Sorry, I'm back. Um, <laughs> yeah, thank you for yeah bringing me back. Um, so every year, um, Migration Matters obviously supports um, several charities, which our trustees are still sort of um, going to be deciding upon. Um, but yeah, we will be... Um, the idea is basically that we will give sort of uh, you know a certain amount of our pay we decide income to those charities um and we will hopefully be able to announce them relatively soon so that is what a portion of your sort of contribution to the tickets cost we are a you know we're, we're a non-profit festival we're not here for for that um but obviously any any donations anything that you do um pay for goes back into us organizing it as well as um, supporting those charities and those organizations so yeah so whatever you can give is fantastic but obviously the priority is that 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 you're able to attend that you're a part of it that you're able to learn and be moved and inspired by the programs and that's what we hope you're able to do this year Thank you so much, Sam. And thank you so much to everybody that has tuned in. Just to remind you, we've got one more activity tonight on our website. Uh, so if you go to migrationmattersfestival.co.uk at 6 p.m., we've got Mafwa Theatre launching their installation, and that will be followed by a Q&A session. But tonight, thank you so much to everybody who has joined us, including the team, if you can see them. I don't know if you're still there, but yeah, thank you so much. And don't forget, it's migrationmattersfestival.co.uk right up until the 20th of June this year. Good yeah. night. And the night and the seventh, well, and then the ninth, the 17th of July. Absolutely. Good night. Good night.